Uh, the first time I saw Jordan, I remember clearly saying to myself, I can see myself marrying this girl one day. And we were both 14 at the time. I met Logan at a youth night, and ever since I haven't been able to get that spray tan guy off my mind. I was totally locked in. Um, we were 17 when we both started dating. Unfortunately, our relationship started with an unhealthy foundation. We were unfocused on Jesus and incomplete as individuals. We tuned out God's voice. It was affecting us emotionally, physically, and even spiritually. This led us to places we never wanted to and wouldn't have gone if we had listened to Jesus' voice. We failed in loving each other, completely failed in sexual purity, and ultimately in loving God. I thought we had ruined our lives. We continued to live in hopelessness um, and not really focusing on how big our God actually is and how much He was in control of our situation. Then, a game-changing moment, I left on a six-month YWAM discipleship school, and that's where God began to open up my heart. Jesus knew that we needed a time apart to break the vicious sin cycle we were in and begin a deep work in us. The first step was very hard, sharing with our families and becoming transparent, confronting issues. When I got home six months later, we thought everything was good. We felt free from the stronghold of sin. In September 2017, we got engaged for the first time, not knowing that healing hadn't yet been complete. We weren't yet fully surrendered, so we continued in emotional brokenness with the inability to connect and love each other fully the way we wanted to. Then one day, Jesus spoke so clear. We need to let go of each other completely, absolute surrender, in order to become whole. So in January 2018, we decided to part ways for good, no strings attached, giving Jesus full control. Jeremiah 29, 13 says, When you seek me, you will find me. And 2018 was a year of surrender. I laid down my idol and gave my life fully to God. He transformed me. It was hands down the best year of my life. Everything changed. I became healed and whole. God took my yes. He took my surrender and created something so beautiful. Our year apart, I was grown and stretched in ways so hard to describe. I gave my all to Him and He transformed me. I know that I am chosen and valued always, fully known and loved by my Father. As the year came to an end, Jesus spoke to us both separately. He said, I gave you the choice to choose, and you're ready. So we did. We first chose God, and we chose each other. We met up Christmas 2018 and shared all God had shown us the last year, and it was close to identical. It was Him all along, His hand guiding us. He saw us in our brokenness and literally rescued us. The best part is He brought us back together, whole and healed, completely surrendered to Him. The grace He gives is far beyond what we deserve. He wants the best for all of us, living in joy and freedom. John 10 verse 10 says, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But God says, I have come so you may have life and life to the full. And this is only the beginning of our story.